This is a message for July um, and a collective reading. Um, some of the things that jump out immediately are uh, the Divine Feminine and the Hierophant. I wouldn't call the Hierophant the Divine Masculine, but I would call the Hierophant kind of like the institution, like the structures. Um, the sort of ancient structures that we live by and the star is about healing. Um, so perhaps we'll start to see a shift in the collective, um, which I think we've started to see already, but perhaps the healing will start to um, reveal new, new ways of doing things. And I'm seeing a lot of two, two white animals, so two white swans, two white wolves, uh, two white rabbits, um, and that feels quite significant. So this is about, well, for me, this card is about soulmates and about connection. And um, I think it's interesting that the moon is in so many of these cards the full moon and I think there's a full moon right at the beginning of July is it like the third or the fourth or something um, and so yeah so to start at the beginning of the reading we've got these two images that should suggest to me sort of emptiness and hollowness, um, but the potential for connection and this skateboard ramp is about um, ascension in some ways. Um, and then the crows are kind of about doubt or fears. Um, and with this card, the, the moon, and the tree connecting the sky and the earth. Um, yeah, it's sort of like the, the potential to be able to connect really strongly. Um, and I think it's about sound as well. You know, this, this sort of looks to me like a guitar box and like a sound box. Um, so perhaps it's through prayer, through chanting, through um, yeah, using our using our voice to make a connection to ground ourselves. Um, This image of the hand where we can see the veins and the book, that kind of feels to me something about taking the knowledge of something and it becoming part of our circular circul circulation system, um, part of our lifeblood. Um, yeah, knowledge of the moon or something. Yeah, and these howling wolves. I mean, this is about sort of primal instinctive noises, isn't it? Um, and the feet in the water here. This, this character here is also meant to be the moon, the moon dipping her feet in the, in, in the lake. So perhaps we connect with water, swimming or um, paddling in water, like these swans as well. Um, and the night, the night owl with the mask, similar colors in this card. Um, 
what does it mean? Something hidden, hidden knowledge. These are these gorilla hands have these sort of monks' heads above them, and this golden light streaming down, which is connection to source, which a lot of these cards suggest to me. So Yeah, with the sort of circulation in the hands. What is this? I don't know, heart heartbeats kind of came to mind or um perhaps it is chakra system. Uh, some sort of ancient knowledge to do with sound, to do with the chakra system and to do with the full moon. So, <laughs> uh, not sure what that means, but I hope it was helpful.